All right, guys, so this is Kian's um, reading. So here's the six personality slash energy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, mediator, father, angel reverse, shapeshifter, servant reverse, and scribe. Um, so mediator, he tends to play a peacekeeper within the group. He sees both sides and tries to make the best compromise and conflict. Um, I think we also got this, and who else had this? Um, never mind. We didn't have this. Um, I thought someone else had it, but no one else has had this. Um, so the father role, he's supportive. He's trying to guide the others right now, like trying to keep everyone in a certain direction. Um... And by this, he's probably referencing Hong Wan right now, who's kind of all over. Um, so we got the angel in reverse. Um, he tends to put on a more innocent act than what he is. Um, yeah, so he's not innocent, as innocent as he likes to appear towards people. Um, we had the vert. The shapeshifter on um, this, I don't think, is him shifting his personality, per se. I feel this is just keen insight in difficult situations and adaptation to situations. It's not the same thing. It doesn't seem me having hunk wands. Um, got the servant in reverse. So, using a lack of money as an excuse not to move forward in life. So, he's had a lot of opportunities that have come his way. And he uses his financial situation as an excuse not to do it in because he doesn't want to admit the real reason why he doesn't want to do it um so he often feels the need to like excuse his actions um this is a particular person he feels he has to give explanations when he doesn't want to do something to um and I'm also going to get something else I'm getting from this card in a moment. Um, scribe, so he values knowledge. Um, he could also have a talent for writing. This could be lyrics. This could be just normal writing as well. Um, so this is the other thing I'm getting from the servant card. Um, right now he feels more like he's being treated more like a servant than... Um, by the company than an artist. Like he feels like he's being forced to do things he doesn't want to. Just to serve their purposes. Like he doesn't think he's being valued. Um, and so yeah he's turned down a lot of opportunities. Probably with different companies. Using the excuse he's not in good like, in a good financial place to leave his current contract. Um, however, this isn't the truth. He just, he wants to fight to keep the group together. Like, he doesn't want to leave the group. Um, and he's also tired of playing the servant role. Um, I think at some point in his youth, he was taught to please others. Um, in this way, but emotionally and physically it's draining on him, and he's as he's getting older, he sees like this isn't really a healthy behavior. Um, so overall, with his energy, he's um, a lot more emotionally aware and um, expressive with his emotions versus any of the other members I've read on. Um, so, like, right now, his emotions are pretty high. Like, there's a lot going on once. He has so many different emotions at once. Um, but he's not ready to give in. Like, he's like, I'm going to fight this as long as I have to fight it to keep what I care about. Kind of feeling with him right now. Um, so, this is what he needs to focus on. Um, this is probably going to be a long video because a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff here. Alright, so the hunter, he needs to figure out what he wants and where he wants to go. He needs to set goals for himself and not for anyone else. He needs to figure out the fears that are holding him back. 
Um, and this is something he has to figure out on his own. No one can tell him this. No one can help him through this. This is a stage he has to do himself. Um, we got the eagle. So he's looking at his current situation with a limited perspective. He needs to get out of his own head and see the full picture. His emotions are causing him to say and do things that are hurtful to the other members currently. Um, he So he kind of needs to let go of these emotions or like find a new sort of output for them because it's causing issues. Um... And I do think he needs someone he can talk to um, that he can be fully honest without fearing um, the trust being broken and things getting out that he doesn't want to get out. Because he doesn't always feel he can be completely honest and everything he has to say with the other members because he's afraid of hurting them. Um, so we have the Peacekeeper. So, when there's a conflict, he has the need to always be right. Like, he's the type of person when you're in a conflict with, like, they don't back down because they know they're right and they sometimes won't see the other views. Now, it is a little conflict with his personality, with the mediator, but I think this, that's not in his own personal conflicts. This is his own personal conflicts. Um, so... There is a current conflict he feels he's right in and doesn't want to give any leeway with the situation. However, this is not a fight he's going to win and he needs to move on. Um, Alright, so I didn't do a video on this particular situation because it, like, I couldn't get a straight answer. It was like yes and no and yes and no. I'm like, I'd just give me an answer. Um... So, given the current rumors, this could be indication there is some truth to the conflict, um, to this, and it's causing conflict between him and the company over it. If they are together, I think the company is forcing them to break up. He's trying to fight them on this, but he isn't going to win. Uh, it's probably best if he just picks up the pieces that remains of him at the moment and moves on and slowly recovers from this experience um yeah i feel and this is what makes him kind of feel that he's like a servant to the company like they don't actually value him um and most of these feelings he has are temporary all right so i asked what guidance his spirit guides have for him currently um you have the oracle near guardian and seer um, the Oracle, he needs to wait for more information before he makes any big changes. There's key information he is missing that could lead him to make poor choices. Um, Mir Guardian, he needs to take time to reflect. There's a lot going on in his life. He needs to recognize his strengths as well as the growth, um, that is taking place in these challenging times. Um, Seer, insecurities are blocking his vision of his future. He needs to surround himself with more positivity, positivity to get through this. Um, relying on the others is necessary. He can't get through this alone. Um, there are some information I got about things he's thinking about that I'm not sharing. Um... There's a lot of turmoil for him, and he just doesn't know. Um, he 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 just doesn't know if he really belongs anymore. Kind of feeling. Um, be able to figure out what that means. That's on you. I'm not gonna say it. We got. So I'm gonna move on to the next twelve months for him. One, two, five, six, seven. We also have this extra card, um, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. Um, so January, we got the Son of Wands. Um, he's kind of pumped for the new year and ready to take on new projects that were upcoming. 
um, February, real fortune, a change in his direction he wasn't expecting, but was sort of fated or destiny. Um, March, two of wands, this is a new direction, um, that he kind of was for, that he, that came his way. Um, he's very determined on achieving this. Daughter of wands, um, this is April, his, he's passionate about his music sec slash career, very focused, um, there's not much room for romance at the current moment, like, everything is about his career, this transformation or evolution that is taking place within him, um, spiritually or just personality wise, um, so, June, uh, okay, so, we got the Ten of Swords, as you can see. Not a pleasant card. Um, and so, basically, there's a lot of drama. He's letting people walk all over him um, for way too long. And now that he's finally standing up, it's like, holy hell is being released. <laughs> like, people are like, oh, you have a voice kind of feeling. I'm getting with that. Um, June, Four of Swords, he needs to look inward and find his inner strength to get through this high stress period. Um, a little bit of a rough patch. Um, July, we've got the Two of Cups, so it's a great time for relationships and love. Um, and then the next month in August, we got the Ace of Cups, so good period of healthy, like of health, joy, and friendship. There's possibly a new love interest that reveals itself. Um, so September, he's um, we got the Mother of Wands, and there's a lot of protective energy I'm getting for this. Um, like, there is a situation where he sees a threat to the group that makes him ready to do whatever it takes to protect them. Like, the last experiences have made him very, like, a lot more, like, the last experiences within the last year has made him a lot more protective of members, and he's willing to fight for them. Like, he doesn't care what it takes to do that. Um, so... However, I don't think this threat is really a threat. It's just he perceives it as a threat. Um, October, we get success, celebration, um, prosperity. This may be a literal celebration of some sorts. Um, so November, we have the Eight of Wands. So news, change, or clarity in an unresolved situation. Um, shift in direction. Maybe a touring possibility comes the end of the year, or just maybe travel in general. Um, we're getting this enough to where I feel like this could be about Wan Ho. Like, I've gotten this in, like, the last three readings, or, like, all of them, honestly. I've gotten the, on the Eight of Wands at some point in the year. Um, different places, but I think there's a potential to see Wan Ho come back towards, like, October to... November range because this is the second time I've gotten it in between October and November um so I don't think the situation with Wanho is completely settled yet like I think there's more um if you've watched the whole situation I saw with their whole vampire and how I think it's going to change um you can I think this is potentially this person that the new person coming in that could bring them back together. Uh, and we're going to talk about how I got that with that final card that came out. Um, so December, we have the daughter of swords. Um, he and I'm observation and honesty and people value that honesty that he gives. Um, okay. So, we got this random card that just flew out with, like, the last couple cards. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, this is how he views this young male figure that's coming up in, like, the company. Um, he sees him as a liberal magician, making the impossible happen. So I'm really leaning towards him 
possibly allowing Juan Ho to come back or reintroducing him. As some of you guys may or may not know, that the company he signed with is like a sub company. Um, so he's still technically with the same company, but not a little confusing. <laughs> um, so to get into Kyung's year, it's fairly good. Um, bit of rough patch currently. Um, but by July it turns around. So his obviously like his observation skills allowed me to get a lot more insight into what's going on with the group and Starship in general. Um, that's how I can make that video that you will see released on Monday. Or not Monday, when Wednesday. This is coming out like next Monday, so I it could it's getting a little confused in my head when I'm talking about things. Um so I'm gonna talk a little bit what's going on with the group. So the group as a whole is unhappy with Starship. Um everyone's wondering where they're going and is anxious. I could I think this negative presence or psychic vampire, whatever the heck you wanna call them, um is often threatening them to break them apart if they don't do exactly what he says. Um, so yeah, the situation with this person's going to be over by um, anywhere from June to September. I think this is the threat that Keon sees as this new male. He's not really a threat, just... He's worried it's going to change everything and take away, like, make the entire group disband kind of feeling. And that's not what this male is doing. Um, I, like, the situation with Wanho is not over um, at all. Like, there's still potential he's coming back. Um, and I think this new male is going to have, a, like, a influence on this. Um so we're just going to have to wait out and see what happens if you're a fan. Like, just wait. There's things going on behind the scenes that we can't see. Like, this isn't public information. This is stuff, like, that no one's really seeing. Um, like, again, the situation with this young male. Um, he's not someone in the public eye. He's This is, like, not something that's happening that people can see. Like, on the actual company that owns part of Starship, I can find almost nothing on them. Besides what's on Wikipedia. And I can't read their actual website since it's in Korean. And my Korean's not that good to understand what the website's saying. Um, so I do really think it's with this company and things are being kept hush-hush about what's going on. Um, so yeah, that's what I got from Kian And... It was an interesting reading. He made it a lot easier for me to get like the full picture. Um, and I appreciated that help because I didn't really know exactly what was going on. Um, so yeah, you guys, thanks for watching. Um, lots of other videos to go see. Like I'm posting a lot right now. Um, come once the quarantine's over where I live probably gonna slow down um because again i don't make money doing this like that's not why i do this um so <laughs> like i have to go back to my regular job once they reopen um however if you guys do want to support this to where maybe eventually i don't have to keep bouncing back and forth um you can contact the email in the description for personal readings um there are small fees. I'm not going to charge a fortune depending on what you want. Um, like a full eye medium meaning is more expensive. It's draining. It takes time. I have to make sure I'm getting the right person. It, so it's, there's a lot involved in that. Um, oh, sorry guys. Um, Eventually, I might open up donations, but not right now. Um, really, if you want to support, 
get hold of me that email or go on my Tumblr um, and message me there. I can do it video, audio, or just through text and send you pictures of your cards if you want to see them. Um, so thank you for watching these videos so far. I do appreciate it. I wasn't really expecting any views. So anything at all makes me kind of happy. Um, cause these do take time, like in between doing the actual drawing of the cards, me looking through books to make sure I got everything and recording can take anywhere from, um, like half an hour to like two hours depending on how many videos I'm doing and how many times I have to redo them like if my camera's cooperating if there's not a bunch of background sound it's I live with people so things can um and my office doesn't even have a door on it so sounds are a thing Anyways, I'm going to leave this video. Um, check out the other Monster X videos through the pay the playlist. <laughs> playlist. Um, so, bye. Guess I'll see you guys soon. There should be two videos Monday. Maybe something on Wednesday if I feel motivated. And then one hose video is on Friday. So, t today will be... Keon and I am. Don't make me say his real name. I can't. <laughs> I try, okay? Maybe I'll look it up and then practice it enough to where I can say it. Um, <laughs> I try. And we have... Yeah. Friday's one hose video and that's going to be so long. It's going to take a long time to do, so thank you guys. Um, hope you've watched the other videos.